Um, I think it was a really good day. It was really exciting. There was um, loads of really exciting talks. Um, it was really interesting to hear Steve's talk just now on um, how he went from like a really dark time in his life and he's taken all his experiences and he didn't like let any of it get him down. He's now gone to Hollywood and actually made movies and made one with Danny Dyer, which is really, really cool. Um, and that he comes from Coventry and he's managed to do it from here, so that's really cool. Um, I found Mike's talk really good as I'm an MN student myself, so looking for graduate jobs at the moment, looking to like get out there, boosting my LinkedIn profile and things like this. Um, so it was really interesting to see the difference between what um, employers expect from you and what you think as a student and to meet the middleman and it was really funny how he like portrayed it for a superhero. So I thought it was really nice how he like put his superhero out there of what the employers expect you to be and what you're realistically going to be as a graduate from a university with not much experience. So it was really interesting to, for how I should write my application forms, make my CV and put myself out there as being a bit different. I think Coventry would be awesome. I think the EC Futures team have done really well to organise it all because it's like a really big thing for Coventry. Um, it's like a really prestigious event to hold and there's so many like TED regulations and guidelines like the fact that the speakers only can talk for 18 minutes and you only allow so many people to come watch the event and you've got to have all these teams around you. So I think they've done an absolutely fabulous job of organising it all, getting it to this point and making a really big success today. Definitely, definitely. Now that we've held our first TEDx conference, I believe the licensing means we can now expand. So next year, hopefully it'll be bigger, it'll be better, there'll be more people allowed to come and watch. And hopefully if TED approves some of the talks, they'll be online and they could have the potential to go global, which would be an awesome thing for commentary in their press and their media to go out wider.